In this video, I'm going to introduce a principle called Avogadro's Hypothesis. Avogadro's Hypothesis turned out to be an important tool in figuring out how elements combine with each other to make compounds. For this demonstration, I'm going to use a simulation created by FET in the University of Colorado. I, want, I have two boxes here, and I want them to both have the same volume. So I'm going to click on Constant Volume, and I'm going to just double check that volume by clicking on the width buttons. And if you look at the width of both of these boxes, they're 10 nanometers. So these are the same size box. Into the left-hand box, I'm going to introduce one pump of a gas and one more pump of a gas. So I have two pumps worth of gas. That's kind of a count for the number of particles that are in here. And the pressure is around 12 atmospheres. On the right-hand side, I'm using a different gas, but I'm going to pump in one pump of that gas. With one pump of particles in the right-hand side, my pressure is about half of what it is on the left-hand side. And that kind of makes sense because we did discover that number of particles is proportional to the, to the pressure. I'm going to add two more pumps. So now we have a total of three pumps worth of particles in the right-hand box. The pressure is now more than in the left-hand box, about 18 atmospheres, which, again, makes sense because we know that pressure and number of particles are proportional to each other. Now here's what Avogadro's principle says. Avogadro's principle says you can't have two boxes at, at the same pressure if the temperature is the same unless they contain the same number of particles. That's Avogadro's principle. So I'll just say that again and state it in a slightly different way. Equal volumes contain equal number of particles at the same temperature and pressure. So what's significant about that is that it means we can measure particles by measuring volume as long as the volumes are at the same temperature and pressure and as long as the particles are particles of gas.